asking big question for the turtle av team why can't we get adapters with locking nutrix uh, ethercon connectors on them i'm glad Great you question. asked <laughs> we actually have three products with locking nutrix uh, connectors on them so we have a series called the miniola bridge um and we have three in the range four in the range now we, we launched a new one so we have a two by two a four by four an eight by eight and at infocom we we released a 16 by 16 and what we've done there is all of the connectors are locking so they're xlr in xlr out and those are obviously locking connectors and then we have primary and secondary dante networks so you have network redundancy and then both of those network ports are actually ethicon locking connectors um, and they're PoE powered, they provide 48 volt phantom power to the uh, microphones. They're perfect for a vMix or a TriCaster system to get audio in and out of a production system. Just load uh, Dante Virtual Sound Card yeah. onto the production system you're using and they just pop up as audio sources and yeah, away you go. So great question. Before I post to the, the, the question, because I was looking at the mini adapters and it just irritates me to no end that the Avios don't have them. And uh, because how many times have we've had, you know, a Cat5 or Cat6, whatever, with that little, the only locking part of it breaks off and then your host. So we we moved over to Ethercons on practically every piece of our gear. Uh, and it, unfortunately, there are times within we, of course, have to undo the Ethercon to make it fit in the thing that's not. And it's just frustrating for us in the field uh, to do that. So I'm glad to see these other ones uh, but and thank you for adding the secondary network for those of us that use uh, primary and secondary. That's that's a big plus. Pre are the preamps in these boxes addressable from a, a web GUI or something uh, to be able to increase, decrease, whatever, adjust uh, remotely? Yeah, absolutely. So um, you can control all of that through the web user interface, or there's an API uh, running on these guys as well. So you can uh, you can automate that, um, and you can push API commands to. Uh, change your gain uh, values. Uh, there's also built-in DSP on, on them, so you can uh, apply um, EQ uh, on uh, every channel individually. Um, you can turn on and off uh, phantom power on the on the micro uh, inputs. Um, and finally, you can save preset. Um, so you can save the entire configuration into preset, and you can recall preset and change your um, your your gain structure or your equalization across the channels on on the inputs uh, with a single uh, single API call. It's also got audio delay, so you can set an audio delay to sync up with the video as well. This looks really great.